Hey, what's up guys? Hope you guys are doing well wherever you are. It is, uh, right now it's Friday. I'm on my way home. And uh, I had a conversation um, this week, which was kind of interesting. Somebody had asked me the question of how I define success. And um, I had to give this a little bit of thought, but uh, I think it's an interesting question because it's obviously a very subjective question about um, how one looks at success and you know you could tie it to money you could tie it to you know time with friends and family um i think it's i think it's definitely worth thinking about but there were kind of two things that that uh came to mind for me when i gave it some thought and um you know i'll just start with uh i think it was like 2000 um i was in university and i remember uh I used to kind of flip through books randomly in the library to kill time <laughs> when I was when I was uh, bored of studying. And I remember coming across um, this quote from the Four Quartets, I believe it's called, from uh, the, the poet uh, T.S. Eliot. And the quote went like this, We shall not cease from exploration, and the end of all our exploring will be to arrive where we started and know the place for the first time. We shall not cease from exploration. So I've got three kids under four right now. And uh, for those of you that have young kids or have experienced that, it's kind of a trip living vicariously through them. I mean, literally everything is just blank canvas. Everything's so new. And I'm a little bit, <laughs> I'm a little bit envious because as we age, you know, there's there's the cynicism and, and jadedness that can creep in. And having the ability to look at something with fresh eyes. I mean, when I when I look at like, you know, like the Steve Jobs um, of the world or any of the geniuses that are able to kind of see things differently and abandon old assumptions so that they can um, so that they can kind of put things together in a new and innovative way. I think that they have this this gift kind of inherently in them. I, I think that's like one of the common denominators that I've seen is the ability to, uh, you know, not ceasing from exploration and the end of your exploring is to arrive where you started and know the place for the first time. So seeing something um, with fresh eyes every single time without these like preconceived notions, I think is like, for me, that's like, that's one of my biggest goals is to not not uh never grow too old um and know everything and tell myself that yeah I, I know that subject i've i've mastered that rather to always remember that i i'm uh, i'm always going to be a student there's always going to be something new whether you're you know you're taking in looking at a flower there's there's always going to be something new that you can kind of take away and appreciate so that's the first thing and and that quote is it's like stuck with me for um, as kind of my my daily mantra and inspiration for the last uh, several years. So that quote, um, I think, is just amazing. Um, now, the other, the other thing that kind of um, has been sticking with me for, I think it was like three years ago, I heard this quote from um, Dan Sullivan, who uh, I mentioned a lot. I mean, this, this guy changed my life. He was, um, I was in his coaching program for, for a couple of years. Um, and he says, it's, it's simple yet profound. Um, always make your future bigger than your past. Now, I'm sure you've met or come across people who, you know, the, the, uh, the older you get, the better you were. Or, you know, those, those tales where the fish gets bigger and bigger every time you tell the story. Um, this notion of always having something bigger in front of you than uh, is behind you is... It implies a lot, right? I mean, think about think about growth in your life. If your life is always going to get bigger, where does growth come from? It comes from um, often like moments of, of struggle and challenge where you had to overcome something in order to um, acquire a new capability. So this means that you're never going to reach a place where you can just kind of sit and be comfortable. If you want to always make your, your future bigger than your past, you have to always be willing to put yourself in a place of 
unease, uh, which is also the place where the growth comes from. Um, and that's where you're going to um, find those opportunities where you're able to uh, make a greater impact, a greater change, um, a bigger experience where you've, you've got to look at something, again, with fresh eyes. And um, so to always make your future bigger than your past. Now, I, I did the, the Ironman France in 2012, and I kind of feel like that was the pinnacle of my fitness. But if I'm taking this seriously, then I've got to, I've got to up the ante on, on that one. I haven't gone swimming in uh, since 2012. So, um, yeah, I mean, with that kind of perspective, it's, it's kind of a challenge to myself. Like, okay, you were able to work your ass off for six months and, and do this 14 and a half hour race. Um, what's next for you? What's the, what's the newer, bigger challenge that you're going to take on? And, um, that was, that was so tough. I mean, that race was again, 14 and a half hours. I had to, I had to exercise like two hours a day for six months, you know, longer on Sundays. So to imagine, um, I'm in my late thirties. So to imagine continuously pushing that envelope, um, every year until the day you die. And by the way, my, my goal is, um, going to put it out there 150. I want to live until 150 years old. I know it's crazy, but technology, we're on a exponential curve. So I'm going to just throw it out there. 150 is my goal. So I, I hope you guys take that as kind of, um, inspiration to think, think deeply about what does it mean to always make your future bigger than your past? And um, I'm sure you'll, you'll come up with some pretty cool answers if you look inward. So um, again, I'd, I'd be curious to hear from you guys um, what success means to you. But for me, it's those two things. It's uh, we shall not cease from exploration and the end of all our exploring is to arrive where we started. I think I'm, hope I'm not butchering that and know the place for the first time. So to keep coming back to fresh eyes, and I think this stuff is like, it's a practice. I don't think I'm ever gonna get it. But that it's that, and it's always make my future bigger than my past. And, and that's it. That's how I define success. Again, I'd love to hear uh, your thoughts on that. I hope that was helpful for you guys. And uh, wherever you are, I hope you have a awesome rest of your day. And I will talk to you soon. <laughs>